Welcome to Let's Talk Smart Cities, an interview series brought to you by Exhibitions India Group, organizers for the Smart Cities India Expo, India's largest tech and infra expo that offers solutions in smart buildings, renewable energy, urban mobility, clean and water technologies, ICT and IoT technologies that are all smart and sustainable. Today, we have a key industry expert serving the energy sector for over two decades. He is the Executive Vice President South Asia at Jinko Solar. Let me welcome Mr. Manish Narula to this episode of Let's Talk Smart Cities. Welcome, Manish. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure to be on this platform to uh, talk with you and about the industries. Thank you. Uh, so, Manish, uh, let me start by asking you, how has the year 2022 been for Jinko Solar? Uh, yeah, so this year has been phenomenal uh, for our growth uh, for various reasons. A uh, few of them I'll just uh, narrate now. Uh, one of them is the launch of our anti product globally, uh, which happened uh, also in India last year. Also, uh, last year, we got ourselves uh, listed uh, at Shanghai Stock Exchange. So this was another big milestone for us. Uh, other than that, uh, there were always some ups and downs, as you know, in the industry and the business. And the pandemic, uh, you know, was still creeping uh, in the early part of uh, last year. So which kept our uh, order flow and shipment slightly on the challenging side. But yes, we recovered well. And uh, after that, there was uh, no uh, looking back. Uh, in terms of our numbers, um, we were approximately uh, 45 uh, to 50 gigawatts of uh, shipment in the last year, uh, this global number I'm sharing. And in terms of uh, India, we had clocked approximately 1.7 gigawatts of uh, shipment uh, last year. Uh, this is in spite of the hurdles which are there uh, for the global manufacturers who are operating out of India. But still we could manage uh, well uh, by support of our uh, clients, by support of uh, our technology providers and uh, by support of all other stakeholders. So overall this year, the last year was, uh, I would say, for global, Jinko was phenomenal for the reasons I mentioned before, and for India, was a mixed bag. In fact, my next question onto that would be your perspective of the Indian solar market, uh, what it has to offer, and uh, what kind of challenges uh, that you see that uh, the Indian market offer. Jinko being a global rene renewable energy brand. So what, what is the potential or the challenges that you see in the Indian markets? Uh, as far as Indian market is concerned, India market uh, has been growing rapidly. And uh, I strongly believe that India market is at the right uh, level of uh, interest by global investors as well. So India market, I think, is a very, very potential market for Jinko. And we are looking very keenly on this market from several aspects. A, by way of the you know projects uh, rolling down. Uh, B, by way of uh, looking at the manufacturing base expanding within the country. And C, certain um, benefits, subsidies, PLIs are being offered by Indian governments uh, for growth and development of solar projects in the country. So overall, it is making us quite excited about Indian market and Indian growth story. And we are also analyzing several other avenues from India, including energy storage, uh, which is another new product which are we are planning to launch this year. Uh, already we had launched N-Type last year, as I mentioned before. Uh, we are starting to book orders on that. So overall, India market is, I think, second to none. Um, we are seeing that uh, Europe market is also catching up and US market is also growing rapidly. But India market is uh, at a stage where it can beat all other markets and be 
at number two or number three spot. Uh, so we really value this market. We have lots of hope from this market, and accordingly, we are giving the due focus on this market, including launching the products in India, getting us certified on BIS and other levels, expanding our teams to cater to various client zones and to cater to our different products. So. I'm I'm quite satisfied and happy that uh, we are on the right track as far as India market is concerned. Lovely, India, yes, is a very big opportunity, especially in this sector and with the kind of government support and the growth trajectory that India is offering. Definitely, this market is for everybody to uh, really make use of. Uh, can you, from an Indian perspective, uh, tell us more about the type of modules that you manufacture specifically for the country and, and the key features that they have that probably are uh, built around the Indian market requirements? Yeah, so uh, we do not have any specific uh, product or module only to suit to India. It is a global product. So whatever we are manufacturing in our several manufacturing lines we we have in several countries now in malaysia vietnam usa and also majorly in china uh, in all these factories we are making almost identical products which are supplied globally and india is one of that global market for us so we have identical product nothing specific for india but yes india market is offering its own challenges uh, in terms of technology acceptance uh, adaptation certifications and the costing as well so we have uh, made certain uh, important aspects into our product like lcoe so we ensure that the products which we uh, ship to india are having the lowest possible lcoe for its uh, clients so that they can offer these products when they are offering tenders to government and they can be the winners so in those aspects, we have special care for our products in India. Also, as I just mentioned, we launched N-Type product. So N-Type is a very classic product, which is having the highest efficiency uh, at cell level. It's around 24, 25% and at module level, it is still higher than 23%. And we have held several world records for our efficiencies in past and we are continuing to hold these records for our new launches as well and these are quite tried and tested in India in Indian hot and humid conditions in past as well as in present conditions uh, and type also offers very low degradation and very low temperature coefficient which makes it you know generate more energy uh, not only when the sun is shining bright but also at the early morning hours and late evening hours when sun's brightness is not so well noticed and marked but our modules can still perform and generate at those times also so adding a couple of hours of extra generation during those times which will definitely add to the profitability of the uh, projects uh, also now we are launching uh, energy storage solution in india which will also ensure that the solar energy is available uh, not only during the daytime, but also uh, during the peak time, say beyond 6 p.m., where we had stored the energy during daytime and we can use it for the times of uh, sunset hours. So these are the products which we are quite happy to uh, share and launch into various events also. Uh, we, we have observed very large footfalls during our exhibition uh, booths where people have witnessed those product launches and they were quite happy and we have also backed several orders which we will start delivering from next quarter onwards. Lovely to hear about the launches and I'm sure uh, in the forthcoming it's Smart Cities India and the Smart Energy Expo we would witness uh, a lot of these launches and products that you have mentioned. So definitely looking forward to your presence at the Expo in March and uh, uh, this year at Pragati Medan Delhi. So it's been interesting the kind of work that uh, Jinko has been doing and being a global leader in the renewable energy sector. Uh, India definitely holds a very strong market presence uh, for Jinko Solar. So uh, thank you Mr. Manish Narula for sharing some key insights into 
uh, this sector and also uh, kind of talking about the jinko solar global footprints and the sustainable initiatives that you are undertaking uh, so we thank in fact uh, jinko solar to also partner as a smart energy uh, storage partner at the expo uh, and we look forward to your presence and the industry joining us during the show in pragati medan in the end of march this year so thank you sir for your time today and until we meet next on another episode of let's talk smart cities uh, the smart cities india expo team wishes all to be stay safe and stay smart thank you and bye bye thank you so much for your time today sir thank you